You know what time it is, folks. You know who it is. It's your boy, Let Me Solo Her, aka the only one worthy enough to sit upon the Elden Throne. So go grab your jars, shove them on your heads as I paint the legends of the lands between. And engage in jolly cooperation. It only makes sense that I do this dude the week after millennia, right? So here he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, this is the little psycho primed up with some chaos black spray. Doesn't seem that tough up close, to be honest. Ah. Ooh, sorry, bro. This is a great little STL design done by Realstone. You can subscribe to their Patreon to get hold of a bunch of awesome stuff that they have in their collection. I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. And what I'm going to be doing is following the same method of painting the skin as I did in the previous video with Melania. And a friend of mine suggested to perhaps stack a bunch of Melania's helmets onto the base as well, which I think is a pretty cool idea. So just to kickstart it, I'll be loading up some white ink into the airbrush and from above, spraying top down onto the model, generating brighter whites towards the top and fading down to the black the further it is from the light source. And that's how it's shaping up so far. Pretty cool. Contrast paints work nicely over this kind of highlighting as it will react to different shades of undercoats. So I'll just base the skin with some of this Gilliman's Flesh Contrast. You can see how it gives a nice, rich, fleshy Caucasian tone to the skin, but it still keeps that contrast of our shading job applied underneath. So now I'm just gonna load up the paints to the wet palette. How many times have I said that sentence? Anyway, so the colors I'll be using for the skin are Corax White, Kislev Flesh, Cadian Flesh Tone, Night Quester Flesh, Cantor Blue, which I'll be using for the shading, and then for the rest of the model, Administratum Grey, Xandru Dust, Mephiston Red, Corn Red, Mechanicus Standard Grey, and finally some Abaddon Black. Now, I'll just be following the same flesh method that I applied to Melania in last week's episode, and it's basically just working up through the flesh tones from darkest to lightest, following the shading pattern that's already established by the airbrush ink layer. So starting off by applying a thin down layer of Cantor Blue mixed with some Night Quest of Flesh at about a 50-50 mix. Then just finally going over all the little dark parts that we can see on the undercoat to really bring them out. Then it's just a case of taking the lighter of the two tones, Night Quest of Flesh, and applying that further in on the model, closer to the original light source, to slowly start establishing the gradient. Then you just take Night Quest of Flesh and make a glaze consistency with it, and then use that to go over the line between the two tones that you've just applied, just to blend it together a bit more and make it a bit more seamless. This is a relatively new technique to me, but I found it to be the one to work best so far. So I think I'm gonna stick with it for now and see if I can continue to improve upon it. If you have any other tips or methods for skin detailing, give me a shout in the comments, I'd love to know. Time for a quick tea break and a stretch. Oh my. With the darker tones applied, it's all about repeating the same process up through the lighter skin tones, making sure to target the little parts of the body that stick out most. There'll be the parts with the most light reflecting off of them. So it'll be like the muscles on the quads, the shins, the knees, the tops of the feet, shoulders, upper pecs, arms, etc, etc. Then finally, it's just a case of mixing in some white into the lightest parts of the skin tone and using very small, thin blotches of that at the brightest points. Then I'm just cleaning off my brush and then using that to blend outwards to give a nice bright point in the middle and then it'll be blending out and down into the darker tones. And that's how he's looking from that. Not too shabby for now. For the pot on his head, I'm just gonna coat it with some Rune Lord Brass as it's a nice muted tone and just apply some thin layers of that to it. Then with some Abaddon Black, I'm just coating the sheaths on his hip here and then adding in some shadowing to the crack on the top of the pot as well. Just taking some Xandru Dust as well, just to detail in the little parts on the sheaths here. Also just coloring in his little panties too. Then just taking some Mournfang Brown to add up a bit of shading to the pants and to finish the pants off. Weird sentence. Just applying a thin wash of Seraphim Sepia all over it. Mm. 
Now for the swords, I'm going to take some corn red for the edge of this sword as I want to use a brighter red for the sharp edge of it. And for that, I'll take some Mephiston red and fill in the rest of the blade here. Keeping the paints thin, you can see that you still get a good amount of the airbrushing job from underneath. And then it's just doing the same for the top and the bottom of the swords as well. Then I'm just going to use some black to add some darker details to this side of the sword and repeat for the flip side as well. For the steel sword, I'm going to take some of the administratum grey and gently apply thin layers to these lighter areas left on by the highlighting job. Then taking some Mechanica standard grey and blending from the dark points into the lighter grey areas. It's then just a case of using the blacks in the centre of the darker greys and blending outwards and using whites in the centre of the lighter greys and also blending outwards and it should create a cool reflective look. And I'm just going to finish off the sword by edge highlighting on some white and adding tiny little scratch marks to the blade surface. Et voila! So just going to use some long beard grey and a dry brush to dust on some texture to the sheaths here. Then to finish off the helmet I'm just going to slap on a little bit of null oil for that extra touch of gloss and contrast. And there he is, the one true demigod slayer. Let me solo her. Another job job. <laughs> Well, thanks very much once again for tuning in, you beautiful people. I hope you enjoyed today's episode painting the Elden Legend. If you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe, because we have even more awesome characters on the way. Peace out, gang, and don't you dare go hollow.